Russian Lynch Kakabe signed a one-year deal to play out in Germany. What does that mean in the short term and the long term? I just found out today that Russian Nikov signed a one-year deal with Adler Mannheim. Confirmed, Mannheim has a post on their site about it, and I reached out to Russian Nikov, who confirmed that it's happening. He's very excited to go, uh, but it is happening. This isn't a report, this isn't a rumor, this is confirmed. He is going to Adler Mannheim for the 2021 season. Now, if you don't know who Russian Nikov is, he was drafted by the New York Islanders in the 2018 NHL draft in the second round. He's one of the pieces or draft picks that they got from the Calgary Flames in the Travis Hamannick trade. Uh, he's a very, very talented offensive player. He's not very big, uh, so he doesn't play an overwhelming physical game, but he is a tenacious forward who is fine mixing it up down low. Uh, but his, his, his true calling is offensive talent. This is an offensively gifted player uh, that has a ton, a ton of talent and potential. Now, the short term... It kind of sucks. I thought he would be in North America. This is an offensively gifted player, like I mentioned, who should be coming under the wing of the New York Islanders, whether that's with the parent club or that's with the non-parent club, right? The child club, I guess you can call it, and the Bridgeport Islanders. They should be grooming this guy in-house, very much a la Simon Holmstrom. I understand like he's overseas and he was overseas and they didn't really plan on it last year, but this year you can rectify that. Right? They weren't sure what was going to happen in, 18, in 2021. So now that they know what's going to happen in 21-22, bring him over, start grooming him now. Again, this is a very, very highly skilled forward that they should be bringing. This is the type of player we should be trying to turn into an NHL pro ASAP. Which is exactly what Russian Iskakov wants. This isn't, like, they should be on the same level here. Every time I've spoken to Russian Iskakov, it's, the next step, NHL. How do I get there? ASAP. That's why he went to TPS. And even when you look at the Adler Mannheim post, I'll post that in the comments below, or the description below, I should say, uh, he states that. I'm looking to get to the NHL as soon as possible. This is going to help me get there. So, he's not coming yet, which is kind of a bummer because the Bridgeport Islanders could have used someone of that talent. But it is what it is. Uh, the NHL and the Dutch, or the Deutsch, I should say, the German League, have a transfer agreement. So if they really, really want to hammer something out, he can come over at some point. They'll have to sign him first, an NHL deal, but you know that, that's, it is what it is. Long term, I'm a little worried. Just, just a little bit. Uh, because the Islanders still hold his rights, but they only hold his rights until August of 2022. And the only reason I worry is there's still a lot of time there. There's still over a year for the Islanders and Russian Lukakov's camp to work something out. And I'm sure they will. And I'm sure they both want to. Um, but getting that close to free agency worries me. Like I said, this is a very skilled, highly talented offensive player. We should not be getting marching this kid up to as close as free agency as possible. And maybe the Islanders and Russian Kakov have a deal worked out. Like, not literally on paper, but like an understanding, I should say. Going, play another year in the pros. We're fine with waiting. You're going to develop even more. You're going to a league that's two steps below where you were. This should be dominant for you. Build some confidence and then come over to North America. Well, we'll play you in the Bridgeport Islander system and then develop you from there. Right? Like, this is a slow building process. That's possible. But I don't like the idea of him getting that close to free agency where other teams can start <laughs> sniffing around and figure out like, oh, I like what that kid's doing. Let's try to figure something out. I don't like it. I'm not comfortable with it. Although it seems that the Islanders very much are. My overall reaction is I'm a little worried and a little excited. I'm excited because this is an Islanders prospect who should be dominant. And when he gets here, should be at the top of his form in terms of confidence. I'm a little worried because we're getting a player who is very offensively gifted, close to free agency. And I don't want to lose this player because there's a lot of potential there. What are your reactions to the news? Say so in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you, thank you, thank you.